Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I've got a really exciting video for you. I'm going to be showing you how you can play GameCube games on your PC with the Dolphin emulator. So this is pretty straightforward, but in this video I'm just going to walk you through how you can set Dolphin up and how you can get games for it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is actually going to be to install a program called WinRAR. WinRAR, what that basically is, it allows you to extract the files you're going to need to be able to run Dolphin. And to get this, basically just open up your internet browser and type in download WinRAR. It's very straightforward and it, it's very easy to do. So the results you're interested in are the two results at CNET.com, the WinRAR 32-bit and the WinRAR 64-bit. You're going to want to download the one that corresponds to your operating system. If you don't know whether you're running 32-bit or 64-bit Windows, it's really easy to check. Just click on the Start menu, right-click on the computer, and then click Properties. Um, basically, this provides a whole bunch of information about your computer, but under System Type, it tells you the operating system that you have. In this case, this is a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to download 64-bit WinRAR. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Open Up This Page. It takes me to an information page about WinRAR. 64 bit. I'm going to go ahead and click download now right here. Um, so, right here, uh, download cnet.com. It takes me to a, um, a thank you for downloading page and it automatically starts WinRAR downloading. Right down here, if I go ahead and click this, I'm going to go ahead and get a security warning for WinRAR and go ahead and click run. It's WinRAR is totally safe and you're going to need it to do Dolphin, and it's it's just a, I, think, I, th I believe this is just a trial version of WinRAR, but that's all you need for Dolphin to work. So, just go ahead and click OK, done, and here we go. Here we've got a, a folder with WinRAR in it. So, if you go ahead and click WinRAR, this is what it looks like. So, if you, it looks like this, you know you've done it right. That's how you get WinRAR, so moving right along. So, the next step is to actually download the Dolphin emulator itself, and just go ahead and search for Dolphin emulator online. Top result here is dolphin.emu.org, the official Dolphin emulator website, that's the site we want. If it's not the very top one, your, your results, just go to this website, dolphinemu.org, it's really straightforward. Uh, click on the download page, um, this is the page that has all the different versions of Dolphin that you can download. And assuming you're running a Windows computer, just go ahead and click the Windows X64 version. Um, right here, um, just go ahead and click the top, get the top version of Dolphin, because this is generally the most recent one, as of this video as you can see the most recent is 4.0.13.58 but just just click on whatever one is the top result at the top of this page so if I go ahead and click Windows X64 right here it starts this downloading and Dolphin itself is actually only 4.8 megabytes it's really not that big a file so if you're if it, it shouldn't really take that long to download even if you do have a pretty slow internet connection as you can see it's already downloaded so I'm gonna right click on it click show in folder and what I want to do is I want to actually extract the files using WinRAR and this is this option right here, extract files with a stack of books right next to it. If I click that, it takes me to this page and I'm just going to go ahead and extract all these files, all the files from the Dolphin thing that I just downloaded to this folder, Dolphin Master 4.0.13.58.x64. You can rename this folder and you can rename the location of it if you want, but for now I'm just going to stick with the, the default. So here we go. It takes just a minute to process. If your computer is fast, it shouldn't take very long at all. And as you can see, it is already downloaded. So to find this, if I just go to the Start menu and search for Dolphin, um, the, the one of the results should be the new folder that I just created, uh, but also dolphin.exe might come up. If, if it does, just go ahead and click on it. But if you don't, if it doesn't, just go ahead and open up the folder, click dolphin x64, and then click dolphin.exe. Another security warning, but dolphin is safe. And here you go. Here's dolphin. It's not, you've now installed the actual emulator. So the last step is to actually get a game or two for it. And to do that, we're going to go back to Google for the third time. And but this time we're actually going to be going to a website coolrom.com, which is a great site to get all kinds of ROMs and emulators if you're in if you're someone who likes that kind of thing. So right now we're just going to click on ROM files up at the top here and it has a list of consoles that it actually has games for but since we're looking for GameCube click just click Nintendo GameCube and here's all the GameCube games they have. They have absolutely tons and I think they just about have everyone that exists. You can search by letter, you can search by which ones are most downloaded. For right now I'm just going to go ahead and download Super Smash Bros. Melee version 1.0.2 and it takes me to a download page. I'm going to go ahead and click the al alternate download link with ads and times because I don't really want to install the actual CoolROM downloader. Um, as you can see, you have to wait like 10 seconds for the ad to finish, but um, just basically wait for this to finish, and then it will provide you with a download link. So 
here we go. Uh, click, just click download your file, and this, and depending on what game you get, it could be a pretty big file. Um, th as you can see, Super Smash Bros. Melee, it's a 952 megabyte file. It's almost a gigabyte, so it could take a while depending on your internet connection. Since I don't want to bore you with just the downloading, I'm just gonna just cut the video right here, and I will meet you again when it is finished downloading. So see you soon. Alright, so Super Smash Bros. Melee has now officially finished downloading, as you can see right here. So, now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go ahead and right click on this. Um, just go ahead and show in folder. Here we go, it's in da my downloads right now. And if I go ahead and right click on this, I'm going to want to extract the files again using WinRAR. Um, if I'm just going to go ahead and extract them to a Super Smash Bros. Melee folder in downloads. But again, you can customize the folder you want to extract them to. So if I just go ahead and click OK, it'll take a couple seconds for all this to be extracted and keep in mind this is just about a gigabyte of, of space so it does take a little bit longer than like Dolphin did because uh, I'm not sure how long it took you to download based on your internet connection but uh, so it allowed just a couple minutes for this to actually extract all the files so again I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out right here and I'll see you again when it has finished extracting Alright, so Super Smash Bros. Melee has now finished extracting, the program automatically closed out, so we're now basically ready to run the game. So if we go into Dolphin, uh, just click the little open thing right in the top left corner, and if you go to, let's just say, computer, or you go to desktop, basically you just find where you put the folder. So in my case, I put the folder in downloads, it's under Super Smash Bros. Melee version 1.02, and here we go, it is now opening in Dolphin. So, here we go. This is actually Super Smash Bros. Melee running on my computer. So, there you go. That is how you run GameCube games on your computer with Dolphin. This is a really cool program. I really think you should check it out. And, yeah, just in, have fun with your heart's content for all the game, GameCube games you could possibly want to enjoy. And remember, Super Smash Bros. Melee is just the beginning. Download whatever games you want. CoolRom.com, the games are all free. And, yeah, so th let me, thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Let me know if you have any problems with Dolphin or with installing a ROM of some sort. And, yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!